and welcome to my channel. This is Lisa with Lisa's Faith and Budget Planning Channel. I'm excited to be here today. I'm excited to share what's in this box. I'm sure many of you may have already seen the Erin Condren Seasonal Surprise Box videos that have already come out, but I have mine. And like I promised, I purchased two of these boxes and one of these boxes I will be giving away um, in a giveaway here at the end of December. Now, I know I just did a, a Thanksgiving one. And I did a fall one, and now I'm doing this one. <laughs> so month to month, you know, every month now I've been doing one, but it's it's kind of the season of giving, and I am really enjoying sharing these with you guys. And uh, I said from now on I was going to buy two seasonal surprise boxes, one for me, one for uh, a giveaway, and um, that is what I plan to do. So I haven't opened this one. This one's going to be mine. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep everything in or if I'm going to um keep it for something else or give away to friends and family i have no idea what i'm going to do with the stuff inside but i have disclaimer i've already seen videos on this seasonal surprise box now this surprise box is a lot smaller than some of the other surprise boxes from aaron condren that we have gotten before just to let you know um let's see this is about a foot long this way just over a foot long but the contents on side um, is within 12 inches and then it's just over eight not quite eight and a half just under eight and a half inches this way so it is smaller than other boxes that I've seen and I have heard other people's videos now that does not change what's in here that may be exciting and fun for you guys this is a celebrations box from what I understand now I have not opened it it's still sealed I have a second one um, the one I'll actually be mailing is over here and it is sealed and has not been opened. You can see the tape is right here. Kind of, I don't know if you can actually see it, but there's clear tape right here. And I, when I purchased two, they put the two boxes in one box and that's why these don't have labels. They're not scuffed up from being in the mail. And this way, when I give away a box or I have a box, if I really like it, I can use the decoration, decorative box on the um, outside or the inside because they do decorate and they do they are reversible. Um, there's no packing label or anything like that um, to mess it up and there's no scuffs from it, especially the outsides are always so pretty. So I like having that option. So I buy two and I've been giving them away and I will try to keep giving them away each quarter because um, they come out four times a year. And um, yeah, so I'm ready to do this one. This one um, kind of is like a reset for the new year. Even though it's a winter surprise box, it's not very wintry from what I understand. And so we're just going to dive in, take a look at all the contents and go from there. So here we go. I'm going to kind of flip this over. Where is the tape? There it is. And we are going to take my little knife here and I'm just going to kind of slide it through very gently. There we go. Pop it open and open this up. Now, if you've watched any of the content before, oh my gosh, look how beautiful this is. It's foiled on the inside. You can reverse the boxes. You just unhook everything and then kind of flip it back the other direction like this. And um, this could be the outside. I, I think they do that because when they do mail, these do get scuffed up if it's mailed like this. So um, yeah, that is so pretty. Make the days count. And that is what this uh, surprise box is all about. Making the days count. Um, I think it might be i'm going to take this out i'm not going to show everything just yet um but i think this might be more on self-care than it is something else so i'm going to put this card off to the side but this is what you get now these are no longer for sale um just because when they go for set go on sale by the time they are ordered and ready to go um and they're ready to mail, they've already sold out. So there's that. So make the days count is what's on the inside, on the outside. We're celebrating for the new year. It's a winter surprise box. And I'm gonna read this little part here. This is a uh, design with specially curated seasonal exclusives and sneak peeks with 
bright and cheerful bursts of color to bring joy to each day of the winter season. So it doesn't look wintry because they want it to be bright and cheerful. And that was very intentional on their part. Um, from the our first ever year over year journal to our custom made dual tip, dual ink list markers and so much more. Each product is intended to inspire small but yet impactful ways to make each day count. Even small actions when done every day can yield great results. And we hope this beautiful functional assortment of winter surprises help you do just that. So there's a list of what they have here. And um, I am going to put this off to the side so I can kind of look at a little cheat sheet over here that says what is exclusive, how much it costs. The boxes are $40. Um, like I said, it is smaller on the smallish side um, than the previous surprise box, but it's still impactful. Now, I don't give a review of do I think the cost is right or whatever. I don't, you can't put a value on specific things. Um, they can because they're selling the stuff, but I, as far as value, if you're using the product and it means so much to you and it is helping you, how can you put value on that? So um, that's kind of how I approach everything. So here we go. Next thing we have is this inspired life in France uh, by Etta V, I think is how we say it. Uh, she's one of the designers for uh, this planner cover. Um, and um, yeah, it's just a pop of color. It's inspired by France when she, I guess she was in France. And um, yeah, I'm excited to see what she has. And that is really, really cute. So, and there's some discounts and stuff, I guess they're advertising here. So that is in this box. So sorry, torn. I'm sure they didn't mean to, but they tore it. <laughs> so I'm not gonna be worried about this. I'm not gonna be gentle. I'm just gonna rip it open. There we go. And this is how it came. So this is what I'm seeing here. So I see a journal and a lifestyle item. Now this here is a dish, basically um, something you can put on your desk to catch paper clips or put your, you know, lay your sticky notes on. Oh, it's got a little piece of tape here. Hold on. Um, and this is why I watch the videos so I know what the products are and stuff before I start really talking. And um, if not, I just sound horrible and muddle my way through and I don't want to do that. So, um, but this is the dish. Um, well, I'm calling it a dish. What are they calling it? Let's see, do they have a name for it? Um, this here on the sheet says ceramic tray. So it's a tray. I should call it a tray. And you can put little things like your washi or your post-its and your little post-it. And, you know, I got this magnetic paper clip, things like that you can put on here. If you got your lipstick, you need a nearby. <laughs> I always have one nearby. I actually might use this. This is kind of cool. Um, if you use a tool like a cutting edge or a bookmark, you know, you just lay stuff on it. It's a pretty place. It's got this edge around it. Um, it is gorgeous, I think because uh, the colors are very pleasing. It goes with just about any office decor. Um, there's no logo, and um, but it does say Erin Condren on the back and it's for decorative use only. So I would hand wash this if you needed to. Um, I wouldn't run it through a dishwasher or anything like that. Obviously you're not cooking on it, so definitely not a microwave. It's ceramic, it's just a ceramic tray. So yeah, I like that. That is really, really cute. So I'm gonna put this off to the side here and yeah, I think this is gonna be my box. I wasn't sure until just now if I was keeping this one or if I wanted to give some of the pieces away, but I really, really like that. And I think I will definitely keep what's in this box. Now this here, Make the Days Count, is a year over year journal. I don't know if you can read what it says right there, year over year journal. It's hard bound. Um, it doesn't say what size it is, but we can kind of measure it really quick. So it's a little over eight inches tall. And then it is a little over five inches 
in width. It's hard bound. It's heavy. It's very heavy and sturdy. I, I, I would imagine if I went to a bookstore and bought one of these, it'd be $20, $25. Oh, before I go any further, the ceramic tray is an exclusive. <laughs> and this is considered $12. Now, would they have other things in the shop that are similar to this? They do have some trays um, that's not exactly this color or this design or anything. Later, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But this particular one is actually exclusive to this box. Now, the next thing is this journal, like I was saying, the year over year journal. And let's see what the pamphlet says over here. It is considered $22, and I was guessing in my head $25 at a bookstore. Um, I can see that being sold because there's several pages. Um, I wonder if it says how many pages. Let me take the plastic off, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I didn't want to have the crinkle, so I put it off to the side, But uh, even though the box crinkles. Um, but the Make the Days Count Day, uh, oh gosh, what is it called? Year over year calendar? or a journal. So the way it works, it's a daily journaling. It is undated. Now there, I think there's a dated version in the shop, but um, you can use this many different ways, but your year over year journal is guided to um, space, to track progress and growth from year to year to next. So if you decide like on the New Year's, like a New Year's resolution, January 1st, 2022, can't believe I'm saying that right now. <laughs> and you journal for that day. And you come back a year later and do January 1st, 2023. And you can see the difference on the same day. It's like almost on Facebook when you say on this day last year or in your memories on this day last year. This is what you see. This is a, like the handwritten version of that um, of what you have in your post on Facebook. You know, every year you can see how, depending on how long you've been on Facebook or, or something like that, what you're, what you were doing on that day, 10 years ago, 12 years ago, two years ago, last year, if you posted something. And that's actually kind of a way to guide you into, if you want to get into journaling, but you don't know what to write, using that as a reference. That's kind of actually a cool idea. I was just thinking about that. So anyways, that popped in my head. There's other ways you can do this. You can gratitude journal here and then do a new gratitude journal next year. If you don't want to do the year over year, just use it as a, a small block gratitude journal. And you don't have to worry about the dates. You can put stickers over these things and just have something decorative and then journal a little bit. <laughs> I mean, this is a very versatile way of doing it. There's different colors, all the different colors. They remind me a lot of the flora colors. So that's kind of cool. Um, except for there was blues and greens as well. You can do memories. You can do habits if you want to track that um, every year or do the year over year. What, whatever it is that you are interested in, that's what this is for. And that gave me a lot of ideas. I normally don't like a hardbound with a spine book. I actually despise <laughs> books, period. Not the information in books, but you know, having to write in them notebooks and lay them down. And just, I, I just don't like the function. I like one sheet of paper. That I, That's why I print a lot of my own stuff and make my own printables. Um, I don't mind a spiral, but I don't like this. And that's just a personal preference for me. But a lot of people don't mind it and they're used to it. So this would work. But I am kind of get my creative juices with this now that I've talked about it with you guys. I might use this. this. It sounds really cool. So I like this a lot. And it's a lot more, a lot better than I thought it was going to be once I got it in my hands. Okay, so what do I have next? I'm going to start with this. Now, this is a interesting product. Let's see, the journal I talked about was $22. And it's a, this is an exclusive, but like I said, they have something similar in the shop that is dated, I think. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Now, this is a Color Blends Sticky Pocket. Looks like a pocket, a denim jean pocket. Um, but, let's see, here it says $6.50, and it's a sneak peek, which means they may have more of these. I think they're cute. Not very practical to me, <laughs> at least not for me anyway. 
but I can see where it could be for somebody else. So I'm gonna put that over here. And then it's got this pocket right here. It's got their asterisk, it's a color blend. It's the green to blue. Um, it's got stitching on it. Um, people have been saying it feels like paper. I don't know if it would feel like paper. I'm sure you could write on it like paper. I don't know. But it's just a simple little pocket, something decorative. I can see if I was in high school or middle school and thought this, saw this, I would think it would be really cool. And I would use it um, like a secret notes pocket. You know, you pass notes around in class. I don't know if they still do that. They usually just text. But there's the stickiness right there. It's a very sticky, sticky. Um, so it should adhere very well. I would just lay it down once if possible. <laughs> I don't know if you can lay it down and remove it and you know, the stickiness will be lost. But it's interesting and uh, I don't think I would buy any for the future, but it's cute. You can put like, if you have sample stickers from a shop or, and you wanna use it in your planner, but you don't wanna lose it in the bigger pockets, that's a good little pocket to have it in, um, things like that. So there's that. Here's um, some sticker sheets. Let's see here, how many sticker sheets do we have? And these, I believe, are functional stickers. I'm gonna leave that plastic off because I'm gonna put it in my little book. Um, yeah, these are just flags, uh, traditional functional stickers that kind of go with the celebration that uh, the box is about to do and celebrate. They're all gold. I like that they use one metal color for all of these and not alternate. Um, though I do prefer silver over gold in my planner. Um, this is actually very pretty and, um, yeah, I really like that. So just some functional stickers. You can add a pop of color throughout your, um, journaling or for your, um, planners and stuff. And that works very well. So over here is this really neat thing. And I think this might have been, oh, I forgot to talk about the stickers. These are... trying to find oh sticker pack duo 550 and these are exclusive usually the stickers are exclusive and they're exclusive um to the box so you won't see the celebrations kind of pattern for um the shop but it is exclusive to the box and that's really cool and it'd be great to do a spread in your planner with um these for new year's the week of new year's in your planner so that's really cool um, but this is really neat. I saw this and I was like, oh, what a great idea. Dual tip list markers two pack. And at the end of this, I will move all of this and get something to write with. And what it is, it has a circle and it has an asterisk. And then you just kind of stamp it as a pen. And then the, on the other end is a fine point. Um, like, I think it's black. The asterisk and the um, circle are blue and this pink color whereas the ink itself is just black I think for the um, pens to write with so I just thought that was really good you can make checklists with these put random decorations you know circles and dots and kind of fill them in so that's really cute I'll put that right there but I'll show you more of that later um, and then we get our first A5 design cover for A5 notebooks and journaling and things like that. And then um, I do believe there's planners and stuff in A5. So, um, and this is in this Edit Eve, or Edit V. Sorry, I said that wrong. I, I saw her name and it kind of throws me off because my great grandmother's name was Edelie. And when I see it, I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to say Edelie because <laughs> it just reminds me, not completely spelled the same, but it starts with that E and Edda, ed, ed, and I'm like, ah. And, and it brings me happy memories of my great grandmother. So that's pretty awesome. But Edda V is the person who designed it. That's the cover you see here. It's exclusive with all this color. It was inspired by, by France is what, um, life in France is what it says here. So that's really cool. Um, I don't think you may ever mention that, but I love the design. It's not necessarily my style, but I do think it's pretty and I can appreciate it. I may be giving this away to somebody that could use this. 
um, because I know I wouldn't put it on my planner. So I'm not gonna take it out, um, but it's just like the any other cover where it's got the inside of uh, the um, dashboard and you, know, you can use the wet erase markers and stuff like that. So, um, so I'm gonna leave it in its package and if I have a friend that really likes it, then I would love to give this to a friend. Um, but this is the seven by nine celebrations. Um, this is exclusive. Now this one here, number eight, uh, A5 uh, interchangeable cover is an exclusive to the box. And this is considered $4, which I thought was odd because I think they're eight. This size is $8 in the shop. And I don't know if that's a typo or, or what that is, but that's kind of what it says there. And then this here is number three, which is the metallic confetti. This is considered $8. And usually the metallic foil is $13 in this size at the shop, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I think a lot of people had a question about that. So I'm gonna pop this out of its plastic and I'll be right back. All right, so here is the cover. I think it's gorgeous. There's the insides and then the back. And it's got the foil and the pop of color. I'm trying to avoid my lights as much as possible so that uh, they don't reflect and glare on here. Um, but uh, it looks amazing. It's definitely a New Year style. I definitely enjoy this. And I might switch to this. Um, I don't know if I'm going to or not. Because right now I have plans for um, the uh, the um, Baby Yoda Grogu series starting in January. So I think I might wait till like birthday celebration or something like that. The month of October is my birthday though. I love my pumpkins. It's so hard to choose. You know, I, I would like for some celebration. Now I do use two covers front and back in my planners. I know I'm weird. Um, I have an outside cover and then I mark off the month that I'm working in in my hourly with these as well. So um, I might use that for that time period. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. So that's really cool. I'm excited about that. And then uh, let's see, what else can I do here? Ah, and then we have wrapping paper. I've never gotten wrapping paper from um, Aaron Condren before. So I'm gonna set this aside and move this box and we'll go ahead and talk about that. Okay, here we are. So this is the wrapping paper that I have. Um, the wrapping paper, I'm looking at my sheet over here, is, let's see, it's listed, um, exclusive to the box and they're $12. So that's what it is. It doesn't say size or anything, but I think, let me just see if I can un, or not un, but uh, open up. Wow, that's pretty long. And okay, so it's a pretty decent size. I'm kind of estimating based on some of my son's Lego boxes that I always have to wrap. So this is pretty good size. It's taking up most of my desk here. So um, that's pretty good. It's a decent size of wrapping paper, um, depending on what you're wrapping. Let's see if I can get it to fold back without messing it up too much. So that's really good. So the, the size here, if you just go length, here, um, here's a ruler. So obviously it's gonna be a decent size. This is a foot long and then it opened all the way across my desk. And so it took up a majority of a regular desk. So that's pretty decent size. Um, grab two rulers over here. Anyway, so both of these are about the same. This is a gold foil, obviously. Um, you can see the shimmer in that of the mid-century circles, which is gorgeous. And then we have the colored color wave pattern or color wave color, I guess. I don't know if you call it pattern or what. So anyways, it goes from blues to greens to reds to pinks to oranges, you know, all the hues and the purples and all that, um, which are gorgeous as well. I actually love this more than I love this. But um, but this seems more elegant to me, and this seems more you know everyday to me. Um, and then they each get two tags. So if you can actually wrap two gifts out of this one sheet of paper, then you're good, and you can match the tag with the uh, colors of the paper. And then this one comes with two tags as well. 
And um, then you get this gold string, this gold and white string. You get one and two. So you can tie it around the box or the package. And um, yeah, so that is really, really cool. They've been doing a lot of gift giving ideas where they've done the baking set. They've done the, um, where you get the boxes for cupcakes and you get the um, tea towel and all that stuff. And um, the, now they've got wrapping paper and last year was a cookie cutter and all kinds of sting, things. So this is awesome. So I do love this. Um, and like I said before, this is exclusive. Now I do believe they do sell paper, you know, um, wrapping paper in their shop possibly, but I'm not, don't quote me on that. Um, you would have to double check. So they probably have other patterns that they use and things like that. So um, you can check that out. If you don't have this, I'm gonna put this crinkly paper to the side. I hate making the crinkly noise online or on videos and stuff. So, But this is everything in the surprise box. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, a lot of gorgeous stuff here. I'm just kind of laying these out for you to see. I did say I would use this. So I'm going to take this little thing that I got. I don't, I think I purchased this. I can't remember. Um, it's got, it's a sticky note basically. And you can pre-plan like your day if you just need to jot, jot down a few things. And I've shown this in another haul. So I'm going to use this really quick and we're going to use these markers and see what it's like. So let's see, how do I get this open? Can I get this open? Probably not. Hold on one second, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So here are the Doltep um, markers here, um, or ink. And this looks like felt tip, because they're very fine and very thin. I think you can see that. It's very um, light. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of start out like like this i think i've already written on my finger i'm not sure when that happened <laughs> so that is uh my morning so drop off School. i am sorry i have horrible handwriting but <laughs> this is what i wrote um so there we go Let's see if i can get some light on that there we go. And then um, let's go ahead and use the other end. And this one's one with a circle. And what I recommend with this is to do straight up and down. If you do it at an angle because it's spongy, you're going to get it not circle. It's going to look funky. So I'm just going to kind of circle around the eight and go straight up and down. And there we go. So that turned out really, really good. Look at that. And then you can just kind of go back and check it off. Yep, I dropped my son off and we're good to go. So I like that one very much. I might use this for sure. And then put that in my little tray over here. Now this is gonna be the same color and I'm just gonna pick, put, pick up at school. And this is part of my actual schedule. So it writes just like the other one. Um, I like how fine it is, how thin it is. Um, so pick up at school. And then this is an asterisk. I don't know if you can tell um, in my poor lighting here, unfortunately. Um, let's see. And then I'm just gonna go straight up and down and there we go. Well, I kind of smeared it. <laughs> Let me try another one. There we go, that's a little bit better. It's the way I lifted it off. Um, I kind of smeared it over here. But yeah, those are the two asterisks. The circle turned out perfect. Like I said, just go straight up and down and pull it straight up. That way it doesn't smear. And um, this is very inky, so <laughs> there's plenty of ink in it and um, very, very nice. So I really like these. And this is just be cute. I know kids would love this if you have like a child, like a especially like a little girl and you're doing planner stuff and you need to keep her busy. Yeah, she would love to make the little circles and uh, asterisks everywhere. So that's really cool. Um, the dish is really, I, I loved everything in the box. I am very surprised at myself because a lot of the times I don't really love everything in the boxes. Um, 
and I don't use it all. Like the summer box, I, I liked it, but I didn't love it. And uh, I ended up giving away in my last giveaway for Thanksgiving. And congratulations, Alma Flores. Um, I got your email today, so that's really cool. Um, for um, So I gave most of that away. So sometimes I might do that. The only thing I'm not in love with is this, and it's just because it's not my aesthetic. Everything else, I'm inspired by this. This, I can take or leave. These are the only two items. Everything else here I really like, I really love, and I think will be a lot of fun. But um, this is everything that was in the box. And I think it was a pretty decent box, especially with supply chain problems and issues that have been going on for a while. The fact that they were able to, I'm not sure where to put that, um, to get stuff for the box um, and still do like Black Friday and, you know, Cyber Monday and all the sales and all the things. Um, there was a lot that had to happen. So I think this is a pretty decent box. It's not their wow factor. Oh, this is cool. I got, you know, this big, you know, lifestyle item or whatever, but it's a really good box and I really like it. So, okay. So now it's time to talk about the giveaway. You will get this box, all the contents in this box, unopened, brand new box, the rules for the giveaway. Everybody wants to know, this is what we're going to have. This is what we're going to do. So you get the entire surprise box unopened and I'm going to mail it to you and it's a brand new surprise box. These are mine. You get the one that I haven't opened, which I have off to the side and I showed you earlier. This one still taped. I'm not going to um, tape it. It's good to go. So you're going to get that and you're going to get that in the mail. Um, the giveaway, the rules to enter, it has to be in the United States. Um, so, um, your address has to be in the United States. I'm only shipping within the United States because that's all I can afford right now. And then, um, put in the comments section of this video or any future video between now and December 8th to December 21st, and it, put comments in, put it in the comment section, um, winter surprise box 2021. That's all I want you to write is winter surprise box 2021. That'll help me keep track of who wants to enter. And that's all you have to put. Now, if you want to put other stuff in there, you can, but just make sure you put winter surprise box 2021. The rules will definitely be in the comment section or in the description box uh, with the video. So if you don't remember, just go to the description box of the video and I will have that, uh, the rules in every video from here to the 21st. Um, the giveaway closes on the 21st. And then on the 22nd at six o'clock Eastern Standard Time, I will be putting a video showing me, uh, showing you and showing me who won using an app on my iPad um, that has a wheel and it just randomly selects the names I put in. So if you have won before, um, you cannot enter into the contest. So I've only had two winners uh, for this year. Um, the seasonal surprise box, the fall box, and then the Thanksgiving um, giveaway. Those two uh, winners won't be eligible until after the new year in 2022, and then it starts all over again if you're on my channel. Um, please be, I need you to be subscribed to my channel publicly. And um, yeah, that's really all you need. Just put winter surprise box 2022. You only need to enter once, just put it in this video or any of the future videos that, um, that comment and I will keep track of it. And um, yeah, I'm super excited to do another giveaway. I mean, I think this is, these are so much fun. I'm a giving person and I loved doing these giveaways. So I am enjoying myself way too much doing this, but I absolutely love it. Um, share it with your friends. Share the video with your friends. Um, if they missed out on getting a box and they still want a box, this is a way to get a whole complete box. They don't have to search for pieces and see who's selling what on Facebook Marketplace or anything like that. They get the box and they get all the content. So yeah, share this giveaway with your friends, family, and um, I hope to see you next time in the next video. And I have I hope you have an amazing and blessed day. Bye. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low.
Let's wrap it up and hit the road I just got an awesome 